Well, good day everybody. Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we're going to do my take on the Joker. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. This is where we are going to try and end up and this is where we're going to start with this picture here. So like always guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do guys is duplicate the background layer with the command J and this top background layer we're just going to turn off. Clicking on the second background layer here, we are going to add a black and white adjustment just like that brighten it up a little bit with the reds here just about that looks pretty good and now we're going to invert that black and white layer with a command i so we've inverted it next thing we want to do is grab our paintbrush tool over here and the brush that we want is on painting and I like this one here right down the bottom 100 so I'm going to grab that back to our colors we want to be painting in white so make sure we're painting in white we can just change the brush size with our right or left bracket keys. And what we're going to do is just paint on his face here, bringing that black and white layer back through. But the effect we're looking for is like he's painted his face in that sort of white paint that a clown would use. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Just about like that is pretty good. Just going to reduce the size of my brush and hit X on my keyboard and just paint over his eyes to bring that color just back into his eyes there, just like that. Awesome. Okay, the next thing, new pixel layer. Change the blend mode to color burn. We want a really nice red, so we're painting in red. We're still on our paintbrush. Down here to the side of his mouth, just make your brush just maybe a little bit bigger than what his mouth is. And we're just gonna start on the left hand side. We're gonna click and we're just gonna drag across his mouth really quickly, just like that. I'm gonna do that a few times as we go down and then reduce the brush a little bit more. Start on the side of his mouth here and just drag up quickly. And the same on this side here, just like that. Do that a couple of times just to get that red. Okay, I'm happy with that guys. Just do his nose while we're here. If you don't like or you've made a mistake, you can come over here to the erase tool and just erase what you have done and start again if you like. That's okay for his nose. And just up the top here for those eyebrows, it's sort of like an upside down tick. So I'm just gonna do the same again here and just gonna swipe up and then swipe down really quickly. Same for here, up and then swipe down really quickly. I went a little bit too far here, so I'm just gonna grab my erase tool and just erase a little bit up the top there and back to my brush. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Okay, not too bad. What we can do on this layer, we can just come down here to FX and just add one pixel of blur. While we're here, actually looks not too bad. Okay, another pixel layer. Again, change the blend mode to color burn. We'll leave the opacity for now. And the blue color that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna type it in because I want seven, zero, and 252. And that gives me the blue that I like to use here. So you can write those down or have a look or just use your eye to grab the blue that you want. Still on my brush tool, make my brush a little bit bigger. And again, I'm just going to do those sweeping movements with my mouse. So just under the eye, just a sweeping movement. And again, on top of the eye like that. And then just sweeping movements down, just like that. Just resizing my brush as I go. Okay, as I said, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. I quite like the look of that. Now I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit on that one. Till about 80, I think. Yep, quite like that. I am gonna add just one pixel of Gaussian blur. Okay, happy with that, it's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna come up to this layer that we unticked before. Just gonna drag it all the way down to the bottom here and I'm gonna tick it. So we've got the two layers on top of each other. I'm gonna come now over here to my selection brush. Make my brush a little bit bigger. And we want to select the hoodie and we want to get really close around all the edges that we can but we want to select the whole hoodie because this is my take on the joker's hair obviously this photograph doesn't show any of man's hair so this is going to be my take on the joker's hair i'm going to use his hoodie so we're just going to go around make sure we get all those edges in here holding my option key down just to get those edges up the top here and make sure we've got those edges here. You can resize your brush, remember, if you need to, to get into those tight areas. Doesn't matter if you go into these dark areas here because you won't be able to see that anyway. 
Okay, how is that looking? Okay, once you're happy with your selection on this background layer here, we're going to add a HSL adjustment. I'm going to drag it down and clip it just to that background layer like that and clicking on the HSL adjustment. I'm going to take the hue slider and I'm going to slide it to the right until we get that nice joker green color. Just about like that. Command D to get rid of the marching ants and it's looking pretty good. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse this and I'm going to click back on to the man here and I'm just going to add a curves adjustment. And what I want to do with this curves adjustment is darken the whole picture. So I'm going to come right down to the bottom here and I'm just going to drag it about a quarter of the way down bottom of the box here. I'm going to bring the top one down a tiny little bit and then just sort of add that tiny little bit of S curve there. Okay guys, I'm happy with that. So everybody, that is my take on the Joker in Affinity Photo. I hope you like this week's tutorial. There is also an iPad version. I'll link that below as well. So thank you for watching guys. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.